breaker broke two three. Today we're going to replace a defective coax on a Wilson 1000 mag mount. Now I've already done the job and I've left everything pretty much just loose so I can just unbutton it real quick and save time and make this video as short as possible. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start out with unscrewing the nut and the star washer on the SO239. Next thing you're going to want to do is take a knife and cut that center piece of plastic out to expose the back of the see like that the back of the uh, 916th nut. This is a 916th. Tap around the edges, get the cover to come off. It'll just come off like that. Now these are not waterproofed, um, so this one had a lot of rust inside of it. Connector had a lot of corrosion and rust. And basically, it's a very simple hookup. You have a lug connector from your braid that goes to ground, and you just solder the center uh, of the coax to the uh, SO239. Really quick and easy. Put a strain relief on there. Um, basically, here's the old piece. You have the lug connector, and then this center piece of coax that came up. And this one actually just broke out of the SO239. I don't know if that was from stress or maybe the SO239. Um, I really, really don't know actually because it's riveted on so this SO239 could not twist. So anyway, needless to say, it came undone. The owner thought it was a bad piece of coax and cut it. But there's no sense in buying a new one. Um, I used a 18-foot a uh, chunk of RG58 coax with a soldered end on it. Uh, don't use the crimp molded ends. Uh, the soldered end is a better way to go. Anyway, what I did is you take you take a take a socket put on there. Go over here, put an open end on this nut, unscrew it, uh, clean up the contacts, clean up the bolt, uh, clean up the magnetic mount and uh, clean up the bottom of this little U assembly here so you all have a good ground and a good contact. Put a new, put a new uh, lug on, crimp it, and then solder it. And then of course solder the center connection back up into the SO239. Use a good soldering iron on that too. Put a strain relief in and I measured Wilson's and it was about two inches. So I put a strain relief in at about two inches you're going to push the coax up in there a little bit when you assemble it. Um, take a little bit of black silicone, go around the edge, just a little bit, real thin coat of it. I use uh, Mega Black. I like this stuff. It's not acidic, um, so it's really good. It won't create rust or corrosion like a 100% RTV will, silicone will. And then put the cap back on. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand here and do my camera. Put the star washer back on. Put the nut back on. Cinch her down. Throw a little bead of silicone around here as it goes in. And uh, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Alright, that's how you replace coax on a mag mount. Thanks for watching.